COK's powerful investigation inside Tyson Foods is continuing to prompt groundbreaking firsts in the protection of broiler chickens. Our video provided the first investigative look behind the closed doors of broiler breeder factory farms. We exposed for the first time on hidden camera the painful practice of using nose bones to restrict food intake. This quickly sparked the end of this barbaric practice at Tyson, Purdue, House of Rayford, and Wayne Farms, companies which kill almost three billion broiler chickens a year combined. And now, COK's video evidence drove the first ever trials for animal cruelty to chickens raised for meat and the first ever convictions for cruelty to broiler breeder chickens. In all, nine former employees of Tyson Foods were convicted on 24 counts of animal cruelty. Our video uncovers the horrific suffering chickens are forced to endure when Tyson thinks no one is watching. From the genetic manipulation of birds to acts of violence. COK captured the first investigative look inside a U.S. lamb slaughterhouse, exposing egregious cruelty and alarming food safety concerns. The New York Times broke the story in a powerful exclusive. Just ahead of Mother's Day, COK exposed heartbreaking abuse of gentle mother cows at a massive dairy factory farm. The impact led to criminal animal abuse charges. The story went viral, reaching 12 million people. We are kicking off Veg Week with seven days of a plant-based diet. After the seven-day pledge, we hope that they'll continue trying these new foods and incorporate more fruits, vegetables, and other plant-based foods into their diet. And what we've done here today is provide some simple, flavorful, and affordable recipes for people who are interested in trying plant-based food but don't necessarily know where to start. Welcome to the ninth annual DC Veg Fest. Y'all show some love for yourself right now. There we go. One of the best ways that we can protect our health is to eat healthier foods. You can see Eddie at the DC Veg Fest. But the majority of people who come out are what we like to call pre-vegan. We're going to do an example of kind of what we'll be doing in the kids' zone. It's a wonderful event. Thousands of folks come through, try all kinds of vegan food, mm -hmm. lots of things to try. It's really fun, and you can bring your kids and your dogs. And your pets, yeah. Yes. I was going to say, and your pets. <laughs> station called me up and they said we hear that you and compassion over killing got starbucks to do vegan cupcakes in florida dc-based compassion over killing have been leading um, this effort we have a gigantic 20-foot inflatable cow over our section of the parade we're just Happy to be part of this and building positive bridges. I have been in three slaughterhouses uh, for my work with COK. Cruelty is the standard at these places. We can change the world by educating and encouraging and inspiring others. 
Compassion Over Killing's focus has been to make vegan eating the new business as usual, and the shifts are happening rapidly. The only glimpse we have inside the painful realities forced upon farm animals are undercover investigations. We are taking a stand to protect these animals, and we're also standing up for our shared values of truth, justice, and kindness for all.